Hey everybody, it's me Beth Renardi uh, here at Studio B this Thursday. Hope you're having a really great day in your salon. One of the things that struck me this morning when I was coming to work is something that we kind of forget sometimes and I call that the opening comments rather than the old word consultation. It's really funny, I went to the eye doctor and this woman who did this procedure on my eyes had pretty good, really pale blonde hair. And I said, wow, you're a double process, aren't you? And she just looked at me and she said, I, actually, I do it myself. And I said, really? And it, because it was really, believe it or not, not bad. And um, she said, yeah, I went to salons and they told me that I'd have to be pre-lightened. And she said, I was afraid of that, but she said, they really didn't explain anything to me. So I said, well, did they offer to do a strand test on you? Or did they explain to you how modern lighteners are so much easier on the hair and how uh, we could condition the hair shaft simultaneously as we bleach the ends? Or did they offer to do a single process high lift strand test on you to see if you would think that was light enough and pale enough? And she said, no, she said actually they acted like they were really busy and really didn't want to do it. So she said, I really wanted to be blonde because I remember when I was a kid I was blonde and I did it myself. So I don't think that happens a lot and I don't think you do it. But sometimes I think it happens, if it happens once, it happens way too often where sometimes people have more questions than we think they do or more questions than we want to answer. I've gotten a lot of clients in the past by just taking my time, showing them magazine pictures, explaining them what is and what is not possible, and then if I had to, offering them a free strand test, and I would just take a little section right here in the front, do two or three little tiny sections, and let it process for 30 or 40 minutes, rinse it, and just blow that little piece dry. I know it's work. I know it's just another thing, but it's amazing how many clients I've gotten from that. So let's not forget those opening lines. And let's not forget that a lot of people, we think they know a lot about hair color. They don't. They're really confused. And the words that are so easy for you to understand and so meaningful for you terrify them. It scares the hell out of them and they don't know what to do. At any rate, I'll be back later and tomorrow with more formulas for you. Here we are wishing you a fabulous day, a thrilling Thursday. I'm still freezing here in New York, but uh, we'll be back. And I'm teaching in Danbury, Connecticut this coming Monday. And tonight I'll be on uh, radio, so you can take a look online to see where I'm appearing with Bonnie Bonadeo to talk about all the beauty of hair color. So a lot of people color their hair at home. Remember, 84% of women over the age of 40 say they're coloring their hair. It's sad that more than half of them are doing it at home, and they're not always doing such a bad job. And when we're not going to get all those clients, we can encourage the ones we do have who come to our salon to do it better, to encourage their friends. And when people come in for a consultation or scared, give them that little bit of time. I know it's hard, but it's the way we build our business, just one of the important ways. Have a thrilling Thursday. See you back here tomorrow, and thanks for tuning in. Bye.